Well, howdy, y'all, and welcome back to Shrimp Ghost Builds. In today's episode, I will be showing you some Wild West building ideas that I've used throughout my building of Valentine from Red Dead Redemption 2 in Minecraft series. Make sure to check the link in the description if you're new to the channel, and you can check out those videos there. Also, make sure to subscribe if you like what you're seeing, and to anyone that is coming back to the channel, make sure that you stick around for next week's video where I'll be building the sheriff, doctors, and that weird small hotel building. I don't know what to call it, but you know what I'm talking about if you've played Red Dead Redemption 2. Anyways, without further ado, let's get right into the ideas. So the first build I wanted to show today was this simple outhouse design that I made using what you see here in this chest. So spruce doors, spruce trap doors, spruce wood stairs, some composters, and inside those composters with some leaves or any other organic material. Doesn't really matter. So to build this basically is you just want to get your trap doors and arrange them just like so. Make sure that's two blocks tall. And then just flap all those up. And then, you know, just add your stair on top, and put the door in the front. Make sure the door is right there. So it makes kind of this design where you have one block in the middle. And on this one block in the middle, that is where you're going to put your composter, and you're just going to fill that with any of the leaves that you want. And put your stair just like so. Also make sure there's a trapdoor right here. It kind of just makes it feel more cozy, you know. So you can just sit in here and do your business. And anyways, with that build over, let's get to the next one. This next build is a simple telegraph pole design that I've been using for a very long time. You can see it over there next to the train station. And don't worry, if you're new and you haven't seen this video, the train station will be moved. It's in a temporary location right now. But anyways, this is just made using some dark oak fences, gates, and a stone button, which is at the very top right here. And it's a pretty simple design. You can make this pole as tall as you want, as long as you just have these two posts right here, and then make sure you place your gates on top, just like so, with the button just on top of that fence like that. And it's a pretty simple design, not too much to it, but it can definitely help make your town feel way more alive. This next design is a bit more of an advanced technique. I actually got this uh, idea from a Grian video from a while back, and it's using dragon heads, on armor stands to make this uh, sort of coal design next to a, an extinguished campfire, which I've just made kind of my own with these nice little, uh, I guess, wood stools made of logs with trap doors on top, um, pressure plates, sorry. And just to make this, you'll need a campfire, which you'll extinguish with water, uh, a dragon head, an armor stand. You'll need multiple of these if you want to give this effect. So I don't recommend it for survival. But anyways, you have your magma block there, which will go under the campfire to kind of make it look more extinguished. And then you have just an oak log with the trap uh, pressure plates, sorry, which you can just make. It's another, this is a design I like to use to make a lot of my uh, seats. And just a pressure plate just on top of that, just like that. And so basically to make the armor stands go into the ground, you're going to want to dig down by three blocks and then put a slab, doesn't matter what kind, you can use any kind, I've used smooth stone, but once you do that, just get your armor stand on a block above, break that, and then make sure you have a dragon head on that, and for the purposes of demonstration, I have it open, but what you'll want to do is close that up, and then, let me just use this button really quick, and just make sure you have a piston back here, and push that into this block, it will move it forward to the next block, so make sure if you want to have them say right here, you uh, put the armor stand here first, so it pushes over there. But it's it's a bit finicky, but I mean, you can kind of see here, I've kind of just randomly placed them and it doesn't look too bad. But that's about it. So with that, let's get onto the next build. So this build right here is a simple gallows design that I've been, uh, I've used it once before. I don't have it on my YouTube channel currently, but I used it in a different uh, Western build that I made. And it's just made using a lot of spruce, again, uh, spruce planks, stairs, slabs, some trap doors, fences, gates, and the iron bars to make sort of a rope. Um, so basically all it is is just a platform. It's two blocks tall. Uh, I believe it's um, about seven or eight blocks wide. 
and here it just has some trap doors on the side. These kind of just act like it's been repaired. And here you can see it's just up by fence, uh, three blocks, and then it's trap, uh, not trap doors, uh, slabs across the top with these just acting as rope. And to make sure you get the right, uh, if you, well, I, it really depends on preference, but if you want to put, say, your armor stands here so you can just have someone, you know, ready to be executed, you can just take your iron bars over here and I put a barrier block right there, but you can't see that currently. Uh, and you just want to have your thing, uh, your armor stand here and make sure you place a slab right there. Because otherwise, as you can see here, it's pushed forward a little bit. That's just because the piston pushes it. But if you don't have this there, it will slide up and it'll be extremely annoying and you'll just have to start it over again. But basically, once you have your piston set up there and the iron bar, you just pull the lever and there you go. You have your rope. Make sure you break this. And then once you want, you can just come down here. There's some trap doors underneath each prisoner stand. You can just drop that and boom, he has been executed. He kind of slipped off the rope, so he might get away, but anyways, you get the idea. So the next design is a small uh, campsite that I made. It's just, it's based off of the campsite that Arthur from Red Dead Redemption 2 uses. Whenever he sets up camp somewhere, he just has a small bedroll with a birch pressure plate. These are all the materials I'll need. But uh, after that, you just, two brown carpets, you know, just one birch pressure plate there, and that just makes that. And then to have your campfire, just to give it a little bit of extra detail, I put a magma block down there, and then put the campfire on top of there. The magma block is not necessary, but I just think it makes it look a lot better than if you had, say, just some dirt like that. I think it just gives it some more depth and some more life. And with that, let's move on to the next build. I figured that now would be a good time to plug my realm, which can be found in the description below. And you can just... Uh, come on to this world and just look at everything around and you can just kind of you know if you need some inspiration just look through the buildings and i will also have these buildings over here in the realm as well and also if you've managed to make it this far in the video make sure you subscribe and leave a like if you've liked it so far and maybe leave a comment suggesting something that i should build next or just some ideas that you'd like to see me recreate in minecraft so anyways let's get onto this next building so this is just a simple bank vault design. I used it in my Valentine bank, which you can check out in the realm. And it's just made with some polished blackstone walls, item frames, and a little block of gold in there. It's very, very simple, but it can be used to be great effect. And all it is is just your uh, walls there, and then you just have your block of gold and your item frame, and you just can you can place that on either side. It doesn't really matter. I placed it on the right side, but inside of that you can just put your block of gold and if you'd like to make it you know if you want to have someone here robbing it or something you can have them kind of opening it so you can have it rotated it really doesn't matter whatever you want works so let's get on to the next build this next build over here is a wood burning stove ignore that it's a blast furnace and it actually has some iron in it but uh it's just made with a cauldron a blast furnace and some polished blackstone walls and here I just made a small log cabin design to just hold it, show you what you could use it in the scene for. And it's just the cauldron and then the furnace with the polished blackstone wall. And if you'd like, you can have this chimney extend up, you know, as far as you want. It doesn't really matter. It's up to you. And that's pretty much it. It's a very simple design. And let's move on to the next build. So for these next two builds, I have just the same kind of basic scene layout with two different accessories with them. One of them is the hitching post and the other is the horse trough. And here you can see the hitching post is just made with some oak fences, an oak button, and an oak fence gate. The oak, f oak fence gate is optional. You don't have to have it there. It's really just up to personal preference. I don't mind either way. I like them both, but I will just have the fence gate here for now. And the way you make this is you just have your fence, fences and just a button. You can also switch up the fences if you'd like. It doesn't really matter. And if you just want a single one, you can just go like that. If you want to, you know, just do exactly as you saw in the example. But yeah, it's a pretty cool design and it's very simple, very survival friendly. So just use it to spice up your build a little bit and just add some extra level of detail. So this next design is a horse trough, which is just made using spruce wood stairs, spruce trap doors, and a water bucket. And the way this is arranged is it's 
Uh, you can make it as long as you want, but I just prefer to make it three blocks long. You just want to place your stair down here, and then turn to both sides. And then in front of that, just throw it on some trap doors and just fill that up with water buckets. And it is pretty much just an extra detail. Again, like the hitching post, it just adds some life and just some character to your build. It just makes it feel more lived in. And with that, well, let's move on to the final build. So this next build is just a simple covered wagon design that I threw together. It's made with just various pieces of uh, spruce blocks, um, some smooth sandstone for the actual cover, and then the wheels are made using some pistons, buttons, and trap doors just arranged in the fashion you see here. It's a pretty simple design. I haven't included any of the blocks used on the interior, but you can just make that however you want it. So now let's just break the cover off and I'll make some slight modifications and you can see what it looks like as just a regular hunting wagon. So here is it just designed as a regular hunting wagon. It's a very versatile design. As long as you just have the body, you can make it covered, uncovered, whatever you'd like. So to actually make this, I can just show you really quickly. It's uh, you just want to grab your uh, tire uh, wheel materials, sorry, and then just get your pistons. Oops, fix that really quick. You're just going to want to place them just like that. Put some item frames on the front and put your oak buttons in those. And then you're going to want to skip, I believe it's two blocks. No, it is three. You're going to want to skip three blocks back and then place just a placeholder block right there. A piston there. Piston on the other side. And sure item frames and oak buttons. Just repeat what you did on the front. Then on top of there, you're going to want to take out your... Sorry, my controller is a bit laggy. Uh, you're going to want to take out your spruce trap doors and just line the entire outer edge with those. Just making sure you get every block. This is a bit tedious, but it's worth it, I promise. Um, and then in the middle of this, you're going to want to take some spruce uh, half slabs and just have them like that and then basically just for the front portion you're just going to want to take out some of your fence gates and your stairs and then some signs as well and also uh, make sure to surround this with uh, it's up to you you can use either blocks or slabs but it'll be doubled up so blocks is probably it it doesn't really matter but here you're just going to want to build those up so that they are the full block height And then around those, you're going to want to place some spruce trap doors, just in the pattern you see in the video. Oops, let me break that, that was an accident. Oh, and that was an accident as well. So just keep placing them, just surround the whole thing. And then at the front here, you're going to want to change it up a little bit. Get two stairs, put a slab at the front. Then on top of that, you're going to want to put a row of stairs, and on each side of those, put your signs, apologize for the lag, and then, so for your fence gates, you're just gonna wanna place them just like that, at the front, make sure they opened up, that's where you would, you know, hitch your horses to when you're actually riding in the wagon. And then if you were gonna make this into the hunting wagon, you would just add an extra row of slabs all around, just as you saw me do in the video. But if you're wanting to make this in the covered wagon, you're gonna wanna take out your smooth sandstone stairs, your smooth sandstone blocks and to make those you're just going to want to place a placeholder block there make sure you place a block here like that then just bring those all the way back do the same on the other side with your upside down stairs and bring those all around and then on top of that put a row of uh, smooth sandstone blocks you can also fill this middle row in if you'd like um or also you could also leave it open it doesn't really matter it's just, again, personal preference. I like doing it like this. And then on top of that, just put some smooth sandstone stairs. And then on that row as well, some upside down stairs again. And then just a row, well, three rows of just your slabs, just like so. And that's your covered wagon basically done. It's pretty simple design, pretty easy. And that's about it. So with that, that is the end of the build for today. If you'd like a part two where I show some more ideas, uh, maybe a water tower or some stuff like that, 
make sure you leave a comment and like the video and if you're not already subscribed make sure you subscribe and with that i will see you later